Welcome back to the Goalie Be a Pro, everybody. Today, we are going to be going up against Minnesota here, assuming that the simulation actually turns out all right. And as you can see in the upper right-hand corner, and if you watched last episode, our stats are not great. We have a 333-888 and a record of 6-8-2. Things are not going in favor of Buffalo this year so far. However, there is still time to bounce back and or request a trade. So let's view the lines here and see what we got going on. Olofsson, Eichel, Reinhardt, that's a solid line. We got Panic, Plekinov, and Skinner, Robinson, Middlestat, and Quinn, and then Moore, Paterka, and Kulak. And on defense, we got the Rasmuses, Burns with Lindholm, and Vlasic with Coughlin. All right. Net. Manny, 83. I'm now at least kind of getting close to Sorokin, so that's solid, you know? Look at that. All right, let's have a look. How have my career stats been so far? So the first year, we put up an 896. We only had 14 wins that year. And the next year, we had 35 wins and a 910. And now this year, we are falling right back down. So let's try to prove that this year wasn't a fluke. Well, Minnesota is currently last in the league. This should hopefully go in our favor. But it's really, you never know. So first period, okay. All right, second period. Oh, okay, all right. 4-4. Four, four. My stats are still going to be poo because they only have 22 shots. But let's jump in, shall we? I really am just big time stocking up on videos right now. So like... I'm recording this, but it literally probably will not come out for... Are you kidding me? Okay, thank you, Olufsen, for being there. Probably won't come out for, like, two to three weeks after I've recorded this. So, if I say any references, they're probably super out of date. Anyways. Yeah, that's just what I gotta do. Gotta stay on top of it. And this is my way of doing that. People like to binge watch stuff on Netflix and whatever series. I like to binge record. That's pretty much how my videos are done. I don't just, you know... Do a great job of spreading them out. Nope. I just record them all at once and then <laughs> have a huge bulk of back-loaded content. So this has clearly been an offensive game so far. It is 4-4 right now in the third period. 17 to go still. And I have been playing awful in recent times. So I've really got to try and step my game up here. It's just like those stats are so bad. Let's go Plekhanov. It What a pass. What a pass. And a great finish there by Jeff Skinner as well on the back doorstep. Tucks it home. That gives us the lead. It is now 5-4. to four. Bishop is getting lit up like a Christmas tree back there. I can't really talk because I am too. But yeah, that defense just let Skinner waltz right in. That's a huge goal. Let's go Sabres. Let's go Sabes. 5-4. What? <laughs> what a bad score for both goalies. That is not what we want to see. But either way, I would still... Rather, you know, us be winning and have a score like that than us be losing and have a score like that. So I'll take it. Let's go Kirill. Kirill the thrill. He's in over the line. Does a little deke. Passes it over to Strom. That will be saved on the blocker. And now we got Panic with it behind the net. Almost coughed it up in front. And now another guy almost coughed it up in front. Not sure what exactly they're doing. But if they're trying to get us scored on then they're doing a mighty fine job try to get that insurance marker ah we lost the draw that's okay clef bomb with it now he skates back and passes it up to fiala here we go kevy oh he's gonna get drilled against the boards and lose it reinhardt there to pick it up and goes across the ice to eichel in over the line skates through the referee that's pretty sketchy sus not gonna lie eric Sinek now back the other way now has it. Goes to take a weak, really weak shot. Smother, please. Thank you. I am not passing that out. Uh-uh. No. They seem to be... They used to give me more space, it felt like. Unless it's just, you know, pure luck that they happen to always be right in front of the net now. But I feel like I used to have more space, and now they are taking that away from me. Maybe they learned... <laughs> the AI learned that I always pass the puck out. And they're like, okay, well, if you're going to keep doing that, then I'm going to be right here. Don't let them win that. I do not want them to have the puck behind the net. That is the worst spot for them to have it. Oh boy. Wow. Okay. They have got a lot of really good chances or opportunities at least in recent time. And I was very scared. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. So if we could get another goal here, that would definitely relieve a little bit of the stress. Oh, he was able to walk right in. Nice try. It's a good shot. Reinhardt with it now. In front to Eichel. That won't make it through. And now Fiala has it again. We are halfway through this third period. Fiala goes for a toe drag shot. Won't make it through. Roslovich. Back to Strom. Oh, don't don't you dare. He actually was able to walk out. That's saved. <laughs> I was going to say, just dump it down the ice at this point. I don't care. Do whatever you can. But that was the amount of pressure that I don't want to see again in this matchup. Kick that aside. 
And now Strom has it, passes it back to Fiala again. Great job, Burns. The Yeti, gonna steal it from him. And now Panic headed the other way. Cuts in the middle, takes a shot. I think that got through. And the Netminder was able to get a piece of it. Plekhanov back to Lindholm, who's able to walk in. What a shot, hello. He absolutely sniped that. A little how you doing to the guy defending him. And then he just meets Irene and Mesh. All in one go. Look at this. Boom. And see you later. What a snipe. Kirill in the middle. That will hit the defender again. That happens a lot. Our defense is doing a really good job of blocking those. Panic goes for a clapper. Ooh, rebound there as well. Kirill the thrill going to pick it up. He passes it across to Brodeen. And he's in over the blue line. In the middle to Strom. Takes a shot. That'll be saved. I think my goalie's broken. Oh, never mind. He's all right now. He just needed a second to reboot. Win that battle. Yeah, that's huge. That is huge, Burns. I still definitely don't think I'm going to have made enough saves to get the 900 save percentage, but assuming I don't get scored on in the next three minutes, I think I sort of brought it back decently. I have faced what I think was a fair amount of shots so far in this third period. So, yeah, hopefully we should have at least a decent, what a save, save percentage. Eric Sinek passes it to Roslovich. That will also be stopped. All right, I've kind of been forgetting to do this a lot recently, but let's try to get a thumbnail. Okay, I think that could be decent. That seems like it could work, maybe. Oh no, a draw win for the Wild, and luckily Ristolainen going to break that up. Stops up, just past our blue line. All right, Olafson, not too sure what you were thinking there, but if you were thinking offside, then you nailed... Oh, for some reason, I thought we were only up by one. We have the insurance marker. I sort of... Completely eliminated that from my memory. So that is sick. Pulling their netminder. One minute to go. And Kirill the Thrill has it. Oh, and he's walking out. Oh, that was a good shot too. He just missed. Strom. Back to Brodeen. Kaprizov has it again. Russ now in the slot. That will be stopped. And Reinhardt carries it up the ice. They give him a little bit of time. Eichel's going to snipe it right down the center. Give us a 7-4 to four lead. That's about as good as done, I would say. Will the Wild get one last shot off here? That's the question. There's 15 seconds to go, and here comes Kristoff Tierney. He's in. Over to Brodeen. Stops up. He goes for a shot that will be saved, and the rebound will be picked up by the Sabres. That will do it. A big 7-4 victory, and we needed that for sure. All right, that's huge. My stats, probably still bad, but I'll take the dub. They ended up with 32 shots, so yeah, it's, uh, they're still not good at all, but whatever. Well, was there any volatility around the league hey, tonight? No nope, never mind, wrong on one. Elsewhere? All green. Those stats were ugly. The Blues. The were hoping to fly high on the road against the Oilers. Ed Jack Stickless. Love that. End, they get the clean sheet. Who They're practices with a stick, you know? Win. We got to take a quick pause. Oh, yeah. Call. I told him I was going to get a shutout. Coming up on the other side. Oops. Stay with us. Sorry, Jack. Ah, oh, well, you know what? I think we still... We got the win. That's what's most important. Okay. So, we are not in this game, actually. And they have the exact same record as us. And we take a dub. Love that. Let's, Let's sim this game now against Chicago. And see if it's close, we'll jump in. If not, then we'll just get right past this one. All right, 2-1. Yeah, we'll do what we did last episode. Let's jump into this one, and then we'll just sim six straight. ADB battling in the corner. And Reinhardt comes in to help out Dalin. Now we have the puck, and we're going to give it right, in the, right away. Right in the middle to Suter, because why not? Big hit, though. Love that. Let's go, Ikes. Eichel. He's in, stops up. Nice play, goes for a shot that will be blockered. Unfortunate, but you know what? It's a good first shot. Capping in the middle to ADB. He gets it back. I am, I don't know why I did that. I really should not have done that, but it's out of the zone now. I got very lucky that it worked out that time, but I will hopefully not do that next time. Nice draw win. Ooh, okay, goes for a shot. That's going to get tipped wide. Reinhardt loses it to Suter. And he is in over the line. Stops up. Does a few moves. Tries to go five hole. That's a little cheeky from there, don't you think? Oh, what a hit. That was huge. 17 minutes to go. We are still down by one. But Eichel might change that. That could have been sick. But the defense 
of Chicago was there to break it up. Come on, Eichel. In the middle to Yanmark, who loses it as well, unfortunately. And now he has it. Gets bumped off of it. Jones to Kapanen. And here comes Chicago. He's in over the line. And the defense going to break that up. Good stuff. Strom in the middle to Doc. That will be saved on the right mini wheat. And find its way to the corner. But we just took a penalty. So they're headed to the power play. Not exactly what we're looking for. Especially when we're currently down by one in the third period. But it is just a season game. But honestly, every game matters at this point for us. Because we aren't doing so hot. Pareko able to walk in. That will be saved. Now Grimaldi has it in the middle. That will also be saved. Kapanen has it. He's able to walk out too. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, there's just... No. I don't think I could have done a whole lot there. I think I did everything I could. I mean, obviously, I, I could have saved that. There is a scenario where I would have read the pass and been over there and saved it. Or maybe I was out of my net too far. But either way, I think I made just a flurry of saves there. I had my guy. And then he just ended up being open and sent one home. They had great pressure. I got to give it to them. Oh, well. 3-1. We can come back from two goals. I've seen us do more than that before. Doc, nice try. Going short side there. Don't think so, buddy old pal. ADB in over the line. Does a few dangles and puts a shot on net. It will go off the pad. At least that's what it looks like. Might have been the arm. I'm not fully sure. And the Sabres get the puck out. We are over halfway through this third period now. The Brinkat's all over the place, man. Was this guy 99 overall? Holy crap. He has been every single spot on the ice. In this game so far. He's pretty much been in the right place at the right time. Every time. So. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there. But he has turned out to be quite the all-star it seems. Which I mean he is a really good player. I will admit. But. Okay. No. They got another power play. Captain able to just walk in. I don't think so. Flying poke check. Oh man. If he ended up scoring that after the flying poke check. I would have been fuming. But luckily. Our defense picked it up. And managed to get it out. I'm so happy that I thought to do the flying poke check too. Because he probably would have dangled me so hard there. Jones goes across ice to Grimaldi. Who goes in. Oh! What the heck did that hit? Poke check. Nope. Didn't work. Backhand saved though. And now Richard Ponick up the ice. We've killed half the penalty so far. So that's pretty solid. But they've already had a lot of great chances as well. So I mean they're probably going to get a few more. Blackwell with it. Comes in the middle. Passes it to Kapanen who takes... A pretty pathetic shot, if I'm going to be honest. So that was a relatively easy stop. Battle in the corner. Blackwell with it. Oh, no. Blackwell wins it back again. Come on, Sabres. At least act like you want to win. Blackwell with it again. He's going to take a shot. Oh, my days. That almost made it through. Off the mitten and just wide. Dalene with the puck now. Just dump it down the ice at this point. And we give it away again. What are we doing? These guys are all over us right now. Please just get it out. Thank you. Here they come again. They have had pretty much all the pressure in this game so far. I did not play that well at all, but still managed to save it. Same with that one. I am not going to lie. I tried to pass that. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you guys, keeping it real. Hopefully they don't fake pull me again. Like, pull me and then try to send me back in the net. I mean, I guess I should have maybe been looking at the indicator, but... Who looks at that? Come on. You see the thing, you just immediately skate to the bench. Head, head down. Hustle. And that's what I did. And that is my sign. Get off the ice quick. Before they change their minds. Alright. I got off. Burns walks out. Doesn't get much of an opportunity though. A minute to go and we still need two. It's not looking good. I think I played alright though in this third period to be fair. I made quite a few uh, stops. I went to say saves and stops at the same time. And then I just sort of stopped myself from finishing that sentence. But we scored. So now we only need one. It's the final minute. Why is Jack on the bench? I can't say I agree with that. I guess Plekhanov's out there. So that's a good start. Lindholm in the middle. And I am off to the races again. Burns goes for a shot. That won't make it to the net. Hello? What am I doing? Thank you. Like, I don't understand. Why does that have to be so specific? I was right there. Okay, well, let's hide this. And see if we can get another one and tie this bad boy up. Plekhanov back to Burns. Down low again. We have 27 seconds. Some great passing going on here. I will give the lads that. Cousins with it behind the net. Goes in front. And that's picked off by Jones. And here they come. Doc wires one into the net. Okay. 
Yeah, that's that's game done. And I'm getting pulled again. Brent Burns able to skate right down the middle of the ice there, it looked like. Okay, well, 11 seconds to go. I'm probably going to start on the bench here, and we lost 4-2. to two. I'm pretty confident that's how it's going to end. Don't let them get another one. Don't do it. Don't do it. They let him get another one. Unfreaking believable. Well, get me out of here. How many goals did I... They had two empty netters, right? So, they had... I actually played pretty solid then, I think. Because that means they had three goals. And they had 42 shots. Which, I mean, I guess the two empty net shots don't really count. So, even 40 shots, though, is still good. Let's see. What are my... Actual stats here. What's up, James? Well, busy night in the National Hockey League. Let's see what happened oh, was it? On the ice. In 890, how's that possible? Match up with the Blackhawks. How is that possible? I don't get it. Oh, never mind. A 925. The Golden That's good. So, yeah, we still did good. The San Jose topples the opposition with What's up, Jack? A goal scoring effort. The bees were in a dog fight on the road against We're going to the a museum capital. or something. All right. Oh, a park. Interesting. We're going to the, oh, the one by the lake. Win. Of course. The story on the ice continues in a moment. Persuade. It worked. Yes. Well, it's time to sim a whole bunch of games and skip a whole bunch of James. We are 11, 11, and 3 up against the Islanders there. Now we are 12, 11, and 3. Good stuff. Got the Bruins and a conversation with... Our agent. What is good, my dude? What do you want from me? Yeah, okay. You can speak anytime now. Sure, why not? Okay, neutral. No, I don't want my brand like ability to go down. Oh well, whatever. C'est la vie. Let's continue on with the simulation. Get me out of here. And stop with these meetings. They're ridiculous. Alright, we're in against the Bruins. We need to sim six games. This will be only game number one. First period. That's a good start. Second period. All right. Ooh, they got two, but it doesn't matter. They had 32 shots. I'll take that dub all day. Dallas Stars 11 12 and 2. I want to say 11 2 and 2, which would not make any sense. They're 11 12 and 2. Let's see how this one goes now. 13 11 3. 14 11 and 3 would be nice. Okay, that's a good start. Okay. Nice. Good stuff. They only had 27 shots, but I'll take the win. Where are we headed to this time, Jackie boy? What's going on? He looks. Like he's pissed. All right. A day at the park. Is that what NHLers do? They just go spend a day at the park all the time? All right. Well, anyway, there it is. Yeah, let's try to get that teammate rating up. Because I'm, I'm, I did see a comment saying that maybe it affects simulation. So if it does, then that's interesting. But let's send to the next game here against the LA Kings. We aren't in for it. We are 14, 11, and 3. We are now 15, 11, and 3. Okay, we are turning the ship around. The Golden Knights are 28 and 2. That's an L. All right. That's not too shocking. They're doing really good. Wow, they are starting Sorokin a whole bunch here. And I think that was an overtime loss, which is a point. We're not in. Wow. Back to back games on back to back nights. We weren't in for either of them. And I think we just got two overtime losses. Now, Arizona, last place in the league. They put us in for this one. I think this is sim game number three. First period. Okay. Second period. Why? But okay. Okay, well, we won. Uh, I mean, stats are awful, but we won. We unlocked another trait point. I believe that means we have two now. Yeah, so let's see what we can get. I'm gonna do glove high. We're gonna do stick low. Ooh, our glove low is pretty poo. Let's actually do that then, sure. Yeah, purchase that. Nice. Okay, I'm fine with that. Time for some aisles action. We are now 16, 12, and 5. They are 17, 10, and 4. So they do have... The edge there for sure. Nothing, nothing after one, two, nothing. Okay, that's probably gonna be an L. Oh, never mind. The kids came back and it's headed to a shootout where we win. Let's go. They had 29 shots as well. That's a very solid game. Didn't see that coming, I'll be honest. Another conversation with Jack. What's going on? Which park are we headed to this time? <laughs> oh, a boat tour. Yeah, I'm in. Absolutely. It's a big switch up from a park. And end conversation. I lost $50. I don't know. That's... Uh, I don't know if I can afford that. I'm really good at, like, f losing track of how many games we've simulated. I'm gonna say it's four because that's the last number I remember. So, next up will be five. And, yeah, they're actually starting Sorokin a whole bunch here. But our team is sort of turning it around a bit, you know? Like, we're doing all right. This should be a win against New Jersey, and it is. Good stuff. We have the LA Kings. We're in for this one. This is the second to last, the penultimate simulation. Boom. That's a good start. Okay, good stuff. 
Nice. 31 shots as well. Huge performance. Wow, this is crazy how much we are turning this around. I'm almost at a 900. Where did that come from? Ah, Tampa Bay Lightning up next, so that's scary. And we're in for it. Here we go. The team that ruined my life in the playoffs. Can we get our revenge? Oh? Yeah. Yeah. But of course. Okay, this is thankfully going to be our last meeting with Jack. What are we doing this time, dude? Where are we headed? Oh, yeah, museums. Those are my favorite. Sure. I love them. Yeah, and that conversation. So that, you know what? That was a good episode. We, we turned the ship around pretty quick there. And just like this episode, we will start against the wild. Nice. Let's have a look at the stats now and stuff just to see what's going on across the league and where we actually sit in our division. So right now we are third in the division. Nice. Okay. So we're actually up there. That's solid. And we have 45 points. Montreal has 41. So it's like a decent gap, you know, and the games played are about even there. The Bruins do have a couple at hand. Senators have one. Detroit only has 36 games, but that's okay. Let's check out the entire league. We are in 12th, I think it was, or something around there. 11th. Yeah, so we're actually doing pretty solid. Looking like we might be playoff bound again. Tampa Bay is just insane. So, yeah, they are <laughs> on track to be the President's Trophy winners. In terms of individual stats, we have 38 points in 37 games from Jackery. Olofsson has 37 in 39. Plekhanov's only played 31. I guess he must have got hurt, but we 33 points. Reinhardt, 32 in 37. Cousins, 31, 36. Risto doing pretty good. Okay, let's have a look at the goaltenders. Manny, now at an 898 and 308. So that is an improvement from 888 and 333. We're slowly climbing. Sorokin, 84 and 3 with a shutout, 901, 295. Okay. So yeah, that's that's solid. We definitely pulled it back around here. So guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed, even though I probably didn't speak English or make sense half the time. Um, as is basically just typical in a Man of the Rip video nowadays. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys. I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon.